Charcoal is not just for burning or grilling food. If you use it the right way, it can become one of the most powerful tools in your garden. It can hold on to nutrients and water for a long time and provide shelter for countless helpful microbes. But before we can use charcoal in the garden, we need to turn it into something called biochar. Biochar is simply charcoal that has been activated with microbes and nutrients. When used in the garden, this activated form improves soil health for years. It doesn't break down quickly like compost or fertilizers. It stays in the soil and keeps giving. To make biochar, the first thing you need is some plain charcoal. This could be from a firewood stove or any other natural source, as long as it doesn't have chemicals or lighter fluids in it. Now take the charcoal and crush it into very small pieces. If possible, try to turn it into powder. The smaller the pieces, the more surface area they will have to hold nutrients and microbes. Powder form is the best because it can mix easily with soil and provide more homes for microbes. Now comes the part where we give this charcoal something to absorb. Nutrients. For this, we will collect different types of weeds from the garden. These weeds might seem useless, but they contain lots of nutrients inside them. Cut them into small pieces so they can break down faster. Place all the crushed charcoal and chopped weeds into a large bucket or container. This mixture will become the food for the microbes and the base for our biochar. To introduce microbes into this mix, we will add some good garden soil. Try to choose soil that is full of life. Soil from under trees, compost pile, or near healthy plants. Just a couple of handfuls are enough. This soil will have the microbes we need to activate the charcoal. Next, we will add non-chlorinated water. Chlorinated tap water can kill the good microbes we're trying to grow. If you can, use rainwater or let tap water sit out for 24 hours before using it. Add enough water to cover the entire mixture in the container. Stir it well to mix everything evenly. Now cover the container loosely, not airtight. This allows air to come in while keeping pests out. We will now let this mixture sit for at least seven days. During this time, the microbes from the garden soil will multiply and spread throughout the mix. They will start moving into the tiny holes inside the charcoal pieces, making homes there. At the same time, the weeds will start breaking down and releasing nutrients. These nutrients will be absorbed by the charcoal. By the end of a week, you will have a bucket full of nutrient-rich, microbe-filled liquid and activated charcoal pieces. Your charcoal is now officially biochar. You can now use this in two powerful ways. The first method is for preparing your garden bed at the start of the growing season. First, give water to your garden bed. This is very important. If your soil is dry and you pour biochar directly on it, the dry soil will suck out the moisture and kill many of the microbes. So always water the soil first, then pour the biochar mixture onto the garden bed. Mix it lightly into the topsoil. This will give your soil a huge boost. The biochar will hold nutrients and the microbes will help plants grow stronger. Over time, the biochar keeps working in the soil, improving it year after year. The second method is to use the liquid from the container as a mild fertilizer for your plants. For this, take one part of the liquid and mix it with 10 parts of water. This means if you take one cup of the liquid, mix it with 10 cups of water. Now pour this diluted solution around the base of your plants. You can do this every two weeks. This helps feed your plants with nutrients and increases the number of helpful microbes in the soil. 
The microbes improve the plant's ability to absorb nutrients and protect them from diseases. There are many benefits to using biochar this way. First, your soil will become richer and more alive. Microbes are the hidden workers in the garden. They break down organic matter, make nutrients available to plants, and even protect plants from harmful bacteria. Second, the charcoal will hold water and nutrients for a long time. It acts like a sponge, slowly releasing them to the plant roots. Third, your plants will become stronger and more productive. They will grow faster, produce more flowers, fruits and vegetables, and stay healthy for longer. Another great thing is that you don't need to spend money on fancy fertilizers or products. You're using garden waste, weeds, soil, and water, things you already have. And the charcoal, once added to the soil, doesn't disappear. It stays for years and keeps improving the soil again and again.